What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investment. I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible so that you can enjoy most of your uh, weekend. Hopefully, it's long enough and hopefully it's filled with nothing but happiness and a lot of rest. Because you guys got to get ready for a very eventful week next week. Um, I'm going to I'm going to st like stress here this part. Arkego's guy, Hwang, was arrested and we know this and his... Uh, racketeering and issues were above like 10 billion dollars or more that's what costed many of creditors that's what they lost the lawsuit says something like that and then at the end of the day the guy got out on five million dollar bail um, obviously very small compared to what the the, the 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 amount or the severity of the crime now here's what i want you guys to keep in your mind it is very possible that he is definitely being interrogated right now and could be I mean, the reason why you heard also met multiple sources say that Deutsche Bank was raided today, um, it could very well, because Deutsche was one of the banks on that list. There was Goldman, Deutsche, Nomura, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, uh, and a few more. And if this checks out to be true, then, uh, you know, there's going to be something less like damage control and whatever. We're going to see all that unfold. But what's even more exciting, and look at the timing and look at what's happening. This is all in the same time that all these great companies drop in value. In the same time, um, like you got, you had Shopify, you, of course, most notably Amazon shook the whole market today. If the whole globe shook with Amazon's drop um, it made a new 52-week low, and from looking at it from uh, a, fine, uh, a, a technical analysis perspective, it still has at least uh, before any rebounding. It looks like it still has uh, some some five, seven, eight percent to go. That's if this is not the beginning of the crash. Now, which brings us up to May 4th, guys. That's when the Fed will announce uh, what they're going to do. If they start unloading their uh, balance sheets. And they also, uh, you know, hike up the rates as well, another 50. Then, you know, I, I again, no dates giving guys here or not, but AB will easily tell you that that would 100% be the beginning of a crash. Um, and the reason why I also say that is because if you look at the TSP and the 401ks, the governments that can't be touched between the middle of May uh, all the way till the first week of June. That seems like a long enough time for one, a squeeze to happen, two, um, for for a crash to happen, and to not for not anyone else to have, unfortunately, the ability to go and move or touch anything. Um, very, very, very strange, right? Now, again, we don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. We don't know, of course, if that's going to happen for sure. But if there is, like, look at all the events that are happening. And if people and no one can touch these things at that time, and it's all these important investments, ooh, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly. Um, but again, guys, if it, if that means we get our uh, mother of all short squeezes, um, then it is what it is. It's not. It's not. It's not us. Unfortunately, that's what media is spinning it, and that's what they're gonna spin it to be like. Uh, it's not us who brought down the economy or the globe or the financial system um it's 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 going to be portrayed as that we are but we're really not but at the end of that at the end of the day most people are only going to look at um what's the what's happening at that moment you know that just that moment when they see certain people enjoying lambos uploading videos of being rich while everyone else is going through a crisis um yeah so please guys be careful Keep that in mind. You could easily become a target if this is the case and the MOAS does really go through. You could easily become a very easy target and you will not be glorified. The way you imagine it now that no one knows the struggle that we all have been going through for the past year and a half. I just want to let you guys know that. The whole world either labels you right now as a conspiracist or you're a dumb trader. But when it's your time and it's our time to shine, you do not want to whip out the show off machine because at the end of the day you have the rest of the world looking down on you and blaming you for what they're going through because they're not going to blame the above they're only going to blame you so don't be the target and once again much love ab investments